Peggy 18. Assassin's Creed has always been about exploring seminal periods in history. The story of Assassin's Creed III takes place across 30 years, before, during, and after the American Revolution. A pivotal moment not just for America, but for the world, reshaping the way people thought about government and forever shifting the balance of power. So for those of you who don't know, our new hero is Rodon Hagedon, or Connor, as you'll more commonly be known. Half Native American, half British, how he becomes enmeshed in the Assassins, a battle with the Templars, how he becomes enmeshed in the Revolution, the story of our game. So we worked a lot on tree navigation, a new addition to our overall navigation system to allow Connor uh, to deal with forests, cliffs, uneven surfaces as fluidly and smoothly as previous Assassins dealt with uh, cities. We've added a bunch of new features as well, things such as stalking zones, uh, which allow you to move uh, silently whether you're hunting enemies on two legs or four. Connor's heritage gives him access to new weapons such as the bow, which is a tool used for hunting. There are over two dozen different species of animals in the game. Uh, some of these uh, prey species provide opportunities for the player, uh, both as uh, objects that can be traded, uh, but also as quest items. Animals in the forest are not just opportunities, however, but also threats. Our brand new control scheme allows you continual access to tools such as pistols on one button, as well as maintaining access to your core weapon on the other, in this case the hidden blade. All the maps in the game have uh, uh, two weather seasons. Uh, one is winter, obviously, in this instance, and one is summer. Uh, winter affects gameplay, slowing Connor down and encouraging him to climb. Crowd is a key pillar of the Assassin's Creed universe, and we've worked a lot on making people feel specific. Um, but there are also sources of opportunities in the game. So here, the doctor will give you a chance to, to add a minor side quest. And here you can finish off another side quest by dropping off the meat that you just hunted. Here is the meat you requested. Thank you. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Connor's mission throughout the game is, of course, to hunt Templars. Uh, and in this particular demo, it's a, a guy called Silas. Where is Silas? It's still holed up in the fort along the cliff. I hear he plans to leave tonight with a small force and attack a continental camp further south. You could follow them. Let the Patriots fight their own battles. I'm here for the Templar. <laughs> to the point as always. Very well, stick to the woods. The fort is heavily defended, but if you approach silently, you should be able to make short work of them. We've also worked a lot on uh, life in the living world, uh, adding uh, features such as carts, as you just saw. Uh, also trying to give purpose to all of the other characters in the world. So here, uh, a small company of uh, uh, Patriot forces are attacking uh, a British fort while the player attempts to assassinate the Templar. Connor's new fighting style is all dual-handed. He always has two weapons uh, at his disposal in his uh, primary weapon slot. Uh, and here we'll demonstrate that, uh, all the new moves, all the new weapons, as well as some new tools. So guns are a larger threat in Assassin's Creed 3 than they have been in previous games through the addition of firing lines. So firing lines are a key feature of the period and we've integrated them into both combat and pre-combat to give the player uh, different opportunities such as the meat shield uh, to deal with them. Once you counter an enemy, you have a choice of what to do, whether to assassinate or uh, uh, throw them. Enemies can now attack together in unison. Uh, we call that a dual counter. We've also worked a lot on uh, the different archetypes in the game to make sure that you have to change your strategy depending on uh, who you're attacking. So in this instance, your base attack won't work and you need to use uh, more advanced tactics. You may not have noticed, but all that combat took place on uneven terrain, uh, just like our navigation. We've tried very hard to make it believable and contextual to the environment. The new assassin can also assassinate his enemies with all tools and all weapons. In this case, we'll use the tomahawk to finish off a poor fleeing guard. 
We truly believe we have the most robust third person uh, character in action games today and here we'll show you some other new moves such as the slide. We can show you the integration of tree navigation and cliff navigation. We're really trying very hard to keep uh, natural shapes, uh, organic surfaces uh, to make believable terrain. Here you'll see that the environment itself is not gridded, that uh, Connor is able to grab onto all kinds of different shapes, uh, which we think is particularly special uh, in an open world context. This is one of three ways into this particular fort. It's sort of the stealth path at the rear. So Black Powder is not just a key historical resource, you can see it being loaded there uh, into that cabin. But it also gave us an opportunity to uh, include some historical exploding barrels. So another thing we invested heavily in is this notion that Connor is uh, uh, always on the move. Uh, we gave him a bunch of new uh, abilities, uh, such as running assassinate. So here as he chases Silas, he can assassinate this guy in the run. He can snatch up this musket on the run, kill another guy, and finish with a jumping assassinate.